My addiction began at a very early age. I was just 15 when I trekked through Costa Rica in a 4x4. Within one week, I was able to experience active volcanoes, lush tropical rainforests, and gorgeous Pacific beaches. That's all it took to get me hooked. Costa Rica is a world-class travel destination with luxurious boutique hotels, fine dining, and of course, unbelievable natural beauty. The country's biodiversity is legendary. While the country covers only 0.03% of the Earth's surface, it maintains nearly 6% of the Earth's biodiversity. 30% of the land is protected by national and private reserves, which harbor more than 5% of the world's plant and animal species. There are 12 major life zones that provide habitat for over 10,000 kinds of flowering plants, 850 bird species, 3,000 butterfly species, and 209 kinds of mammals. And for those of you who want to enjoy nature while staying at a first-class hotel, you'll be happy to learn that Costa Rica's boutique hotels and spas are some of the finest in this hemisphere. Sit back and relax. We're going to give you an inside look at some of the best that Costa Rica has to offer in the way of nature as well as fabulous hotels and restaurants. We'll share a few travel secrets we've learned over the years that will make your visit to Costa Rica an unforgettable memory. You will also meet many of the people that are responsible for making Costa Rica the travel destination it is today as they personally answer many of the questions that you will undoubtedly have about this magical and captivated country. Only 15 minutes, and yet seemingly a world away from the International Airport in San Jose, sits Zandari Resort and Spa, the creation of California architect Cheryl Brody and his wife Charlene, an artist and designer. Hi, I'm Cheryl Brody. And I'm Charlene Brody. Welcome to Zandari. Cheryl and Charlene have one thing in common with all hotel owners we will be visiting on our trip, and that is that they are intimately involved with the day-to-day -day running of their hotel. They are hands-on in every aspect, which is obvious the minute the gates of Zandari opens and you drive past the colorful spa and lush gardens. Nearly always on site and accessible to their guests, Cheryl and Charlene's love for Zandari is evident in every detail. Zandari sits on 40 acres of fertile, verdant green hills that were once owned by the international financier and fugitive outlaw Robert Fesco in the 1970s. And when guests retire, it's not to a room, but rather to an individual, spacious villa, carefully designed and situated to take advantage of the incredible views of Costa Rica's Central Valley, far below. The rooms are bright and airy, with high ceilings, laden with local hardwoods. The immaculate white walls are dramatically accented with bright colored artwork, all originals created by Charlene. Each villa has its own generous balcony that, you guessed it, has been situated to take advantage of the incredible views of the Central Valley. Guests are free to roam nearly four kilometers of scenic trails, trekking through fruit orchards, coffee and bamboo trees, wild flowers, botanical gardens, and yes, even a pineapple patch. Zandari boasts five waterfalls on site, the furthest being approximately a 30 minute hike from your villa. After a somewhat arduous hike, you'll find it well worth the effort when you're rewarded with an up-close view of the 70-plus foot waterfall. Zandari also offers a beautiful lap pool as well as a conventional swimming pool, each kept at a comfortable 80 degrees. After a swim in the pool, you'll want to visit the spa. Zandari has five licensed massage therapists on staff, each spa facility offering total and complete privacy and yet once again constructed to take advantage of the incredible view. At the end of an activity-filled day, you'll be ready for dinner. Zandari offers a sumptuous menu, includes main courses such as Greek island sea bass, poached mahi-mahi, filet mignon, and pasta arrabbiata. The vision of the Brodies was to create an inspirational paradise in Costa Rica. Zandari accomplishes that, expressing a state of mind, a feeling, an inspiration, an enhanced appreciation for the natural environment, 
and the human creative spirit that transforms dreams into reality. After relaxing for a couple of days at Zandari and getting ourselves into the Costa Rican laid-back mindset, it's now time to experience a little bit of the local culture. A good place to start is the Café Brit Tour. A coffee picker from Atlanta, we never saw that before. The minute you step foot in Costa Rica, there are myriads of reminders that you are in coffee country. In Costa Rica, Café Brit is synonymous with coffee, being the country's premier coffee company. The founder of Café Brit is Steve Aronson, an American expat from New York City who has been in the coffee business his entire professional life. So we decided to create a theatrical performance and then included a visit to coffee fields, uh, tasting, and a little bit of, about the history of coffee and a visit to the factory, all in the context of a theatrical script and all done with actors. tongue-in-cheek play in the Café Brit Theatre traces the history of coffee from its origin in the Arab world and the role of the French aristocracy and even the Pope in coffee's rise to popularity in Europe. The play is sometimes funny, occasionally irreverent, but always educational. Afterwards, you will enjoy a delightful lunch at Café Brit's gourmet restaurant. Manuel Antonio is a short three-hour drive over relatively good roads. The scenery along the way is beautiful, of course, and you'll want to take your time to soak up the local culture, getting to know and understand the locals, who are affectionately known as Ticos. While in Manuel Antonio, we've decided to spend our time at our favorite hotel in the area, La Mansion. Once again, La Mansion is a small, intimate boutique hotel run by the Dutch-American expat, Harry Bowden. Built originally as a luxurious private residence, La Mansion Inn is an all-suite hotel that satisfies the most discriminating taste. The inn offers spacious yet intimate areas for dining and relaxing, including a pool with a swim-up bar, jacuzzi, and an unbelievable view of Manuel Antonio Bay and Beach. Although La Mansion is striking in physical appearance, it houses only six opulent suites. Harry believes that by limiting the number of guests, he can truly give each one personal service. The suites at La Mansion are beautifully appointed, each with a large balcony overlooking Manuel Antonio Beach. The service is impeccable and the food incomparable. While at La Mansion, you'll also find the Batcave of special interest. Bat Cape is the bar at La Mansion that serves everything from a dry vodka martini to banana daiquiris. Another experience you'll want to enjoy while staying at La Mansion is the unique forehanded massage provided by Masseuse Gilaine Bergman and one of her capable associates. Gilaine is a licensed esthetician trained in Paris and her famous forehand massage is incredible, especially with the Pacific Ocean as your backdrop. And today we choose to give you a forehand massage. Thank you. The forehand massage is establishing the yin and the yang energy in your body. La Mansion serves as a great base to explore Manuel Antonio Park and Beach. Undoubtedly, your first stop will be Manuel Antonio Beach, with its amazing rock formations jutting out from the Pacific. Stroll down to the beach, where you can get a freshly made coconut drink at a local refreshment stand. 